It can't be that hard, surely. <laughs> Greetings and welcome along to a new video here on my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Matt Chamberlain. I'm an independent filmmaker, editor, and I've also got a passion for gadgetry. Is that such a word? With more and more people going online streaming these days, I thought this was the appropriate time to talk about OBS and more specifically, a plugin known as Spectralizer. If you're already familiar with OBS, then obviously you already know how good this software is. And the added bonus is, it's free. Along with streaming, I've often thought about setting up a podcast. I'm not that bothered about video being in it, but I would like to upload the podcast in a video format. The only thing with video without motion footage is it can look quite static. With that in mind, I was looking for some kind of motion graphic to, well, spunk it up a little. The reason for this is to show the viewer that something's going on when it may be partially muted or fully muted. I had something in mind, but I just couldn't find it. But then just the other day, something cropped up, something called Spectralizer for OBS. The minute I heard about this plugin, I was, I just wanted it. I really wanted it. I just wanted it. Sad, but it's true. Basically, the Spectralizer is similar to what you would have seen on a 1980s hi-fi, known as a Spectrum Analyzer. It's when you get those little lines going up and down on a display. And I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm quite tech savvy, but when I came to install this software, I just found myself just going round and round and round and round and round and I think you get the message. Determined not to let this thing beat me, I stuck at it and the following day I was actually successful in getting this thing installed. What I did find along the way was loads of YouTube videos explaining how to install plugins, but not really one that covered it step by step so you couldn't possibly go wrong. So this video is going to show you how to install Spectralizer for OBS on the Mac, start to finish, no problems, because that's the kind of guy I am. Yeah, I know, I'm too good. Anyway, enough of this jibber jabber, let's crack on. So the first thing you're going to need to do is head over to Google and type in OBS Spectralizer and then click on the link there at the top. That will take you to the OBS webpage and click on download. Then down here, select for Mac. Once it's downloaded, drop that downloaded folder onto your desktop and then open up terminal. In terminal, you're gonna to want to put the following command, cd desktop slash spectralizer. Now, before we go any further, you do need some other software on your Mac as well, called Brew. So we we'll head over to the Brew website, which I'll put the link in the description below, along with all the other links for all this stuff, uh, just to make things that little bit easier for you. So we copy that code and paste it into Terminal. At this point, you'll hit Enter. It will run through a load of scripting, and it will most likely ask you for your Apple password. So that's just your normal password to log onto your Apple device. After that, it will run through and install a load of script. Once that's completed, you need to go back to terminal. Once again, ensuring you've already done your CD desktop forward slash spectralizer and paste the following code on, which is dot forward slash install hyphen Mac dot SH. Hit enter and it will go away and it will do a load of installs. Once that's finished, open up OBS, add a scene, and you will see that you have the option for audio visualizer. Once you've opened that up, you will need to select the audio source. In my case, I use a Rode Procaster, so I'm selecting Rode. Hit OK, and that's it. So there it is a fully functional spectrum analyzer for your videos, for your streams, for your DJ streams, for your vlogs, for your blogs, whatever you want to call it. There it is, how cool is that? I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and maybe you consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.
Along with streaming, I've often thought about setting up a podcast. 